We are back with Peter Joback, Broadway's Phantom of the Opera. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am great. I saw you a few weeks ago. It was a big night in your life yeah. and in the life of Broadway and in the life of Phantom and Andrew Edward and everybody, yeah. the 30th anniversary. Yeah, I had a great night. So Excited. now that it's happened, I'm sure there's a lot of anxiety building up to it. Yeah. How, how does it feel that you got through that and how was that night for you? <sighs> I mean, yeah, it's, it was a big night for me. I mean, f being from Sweden and chosen to do it f at the 30th anniversary was really big for me. And also to perform for Andrew and, and Hal again, and, and Cameron was there, and all the other great people. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, it was good. But I was prepared, and I felt, I felt proud afterwards, and I, the party was great. You, you know? should. You're a fantastic phantom. Thank you. What I love about this show is that I've seen so many really talented actors play the Phantom. And, and you really do have a lot of ability to bring yourself to him. You know, it's a character who's covered I for know. most of the show, mm -hmm. but you really are able to see the personality. There's a lot of physicality to it. Obviously, yeah. the singing, uh, amazing singing on your part. Um, what, did, what do you think is the key to the Phantom or your Phantom or? I just, you know, when I was asked to audition for it in 2012 when the 25th anniversary happened in London, yeah. I, I was a bit surprised that he asked me to do Phantom because I've just done the, like the first juvenile leads and stuff like in, in London before. So I thought they were going to ask me to do Raoul. Mm. And I felt, no, I don't, I don't want to do another of those. And then uh, they said, no, we want to try you for Phantom. And uh, that was not a role that I thought would be mine ever. You know? mm. and, then, and then I went over to see it and, and I just, it was something with the character that touched me in a different way the time I saw it then because I, j I just recently had been to rehab and you know mm. worked on my childhood so there were so much things that connected to me like I was abused when I was a kid and, and, and so what I felt was like if I can do this role and focus on the abused child and what happens to someone who are abused and, and you know when they grow up the self-centeredness trying to survive s and also make him very vulnerable because underneath everything, he's still a child. You know, wow. that's what he is. Wow, I, I, I actually didn't realize okay. any of that. That's no. a, that really uh, so that was brings a lot to it. And then I played it for six months, and then Cameron asked me to stay, and I said, um, I was, there was enough of me in London, and, and mm. then, but I said, if you, if you could consider having me somewhere else, I would say yes, and he said, where? And I said, you know, my childhood dream is to be on Broadway. And, and he called me the day after and said, can you go next year? Wow. <laughs> wow. So and, and you're back through March 31st. So Phantom is in beautiful shape at the Majestic Theater. It's, it's been there for 30 years. What is it like walking into, and I love the stage door at the Majestic too, is that yeah. great long, very classic Broadway experience. Yeah. What is it like every but night? With all the garbage. Yeah, yeah, walking by the garbage <laughs> to go do your show. That's yeah. classic Broadway experience. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like every night when you walk into that stage door and you're getting ready to do the show? No, when I was 10, my first job was Sound of Music. And uh, I met this Swedish actor called uh, Ulla Sallet, who was one of the first uh, Swedish p people on Broadway. And she told me about this place, magic place called Broadway in, in New York. And I was like, oh my God, I have to do it. If she can do it, I can do it. So just walking into the theater the first time was like, my God, I made it, you know, I'm here. And it, it was possible for a Swedish person to make it here. And, and you know, because of dedication, working hard. And, and I'm, I'm so impressed with all the people here. I'm so humble, you know, people work so hard here and it's so inspiring. And I, I've grown so much work, working here and, and just coming back, you know, being asked to come back doing this, it's been amazing. So you're gonna treat us with a song Ah, yeah, well. A classic song. Yeah. I think we know this song. This is, this is I mean, this is maybe the most famous song in Broadway history. I mean, this might be the song. Cool. It's called The Music of the Night. Yes. Do you know it? You got it I, all I down? Got, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> okay, well, let's, uh, let's get a peek of your phantom. Yeah. Night time shot. Heightens each sensation, darkness stirs and wakes imagination. Silently the senses abandon their defenses. Slowly 
gently night unfurls its splendor grasp it sense it tremulous and tender turn your face away from the garish light of a day turn your thoughts away from cold unfeeling light and listen to the music of the night let your mind start a journey through a strange new world leave all the thoughts of the world you knew before let your soul take you where you long to be only then can you belong to Floating, falling, sweet intoxication Touch me, trust me, savor each sensation Let the dream begin, let your darker side give in To the power of the music that I write the power of the music of the night You alone can make my song take flight Help me make the music of the night. Hmm.